for over the head. It's not for the block. Because the ball's coming out quick. You're right. But at the same time, you have to put them them in formation. You have to put them in formation to make them seem like a threat. If we look at that film, right, if I'm a DB, if I'm a DB and I'm in the uh, watching a film, his most his most uh his most destructive runs are when he's in the eye formation. He don't get nowhere in the shotgun. So if he in the shotgun, you play that's why a I play action in the shotgun. So that's what we're that's saying. Song. That's what we're saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was saying like okay. in the eye formation, did he even run more play action? Like... That's exactly what he said. Yeah. Okay, 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 it makes more sense because they're going to, they're already like, you're in the eye formation, they're already going to have right. their, um, their, their um, linebackers a little bit, a little bit further, further down. They're going to have all their big, big man out on the line. There's going to be less, less DBs. So let me ask y'all one more question. I'm going to leave it alone after this. Mm-hmm. Do y'all think it make a difference being under the traditional eye or the shotgun eye as far as play action? Yeah, big difference. Very big difference. Yeah. It's easy to be sell. It's easy to sell it in a shotgun because you have multiple options, and typically quarterbacks have like a a was a five almost a three to five yard gap yeah. between the center and themselves. So you can sell that better than the I formation.